people, of course, expect Trump to lie, but they don't expect lies from the Biden administration. Should he, in your view, take a cognitive test to quell some of these fears? And do you have any questions about his ability to serve? The president. Hey guys, I'm on a press tour this week, but the ladies of The View are still up to their nasty stuff. About to point to the only person that's ever kicked Trump's ass in an election right now. I hope the media is hearing that, remind you that. Humiliated Trump, broke him, and he had to lie about it. Well, that was Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman supporting the president at a recent a rally. And right now he's telling us why he's still on board with Biden as some of his colleagues jump ship. Please welcome Senator John Fetterman. <laughs> welcome to the show again. Senator. Now, you bring up a very good point in that clip, that Biden is the only person who has ever beaten Trump, yet we are starting to see more high-level cracks inside the party. Yesterday, Nancy Pelosi herself opened the door to replacing Biden. Did her comments surprise you at all? No, I, I, I just really want people to be reminded, like, who has the only person to ever beat Trump on that? And now we have a great president, a, a great president. Now, we have the kind of uh, president that has the record that you can be proud of, or you have the other one with a record that you really wouldn't want to talk to your mama about it, or you have another president who you'd be eager to shake his hand, or the other one you might be wondering where that hand's been. You know, so uh, I'm proud to stand with him to now to make that argument now. Well, well, Senator, there is concern about Joe Biden's cognitive abilities for, for some people. Uh, people saw the debates. Many say the administration is being sort of opaque about his condition. People, of course, expect Trump to lie, but they don't expect lies from the Biden administration. Should he, in your view, take a cognitive test to quell some of these fears? And do you have any questions about the, his ability to the, serve? The president's health and those choices are his and his only on that. And uh, that, I don't think that's meaningful at, at this, this point. He's our guy. He won the primary. Nobody else meaningful challenged that, uh, except for the Gilletto guy, and that didn't go well. And I'd like to remind uh, everybody uh, uh, again, you have a choice. Would you rather have a great economy uh, or a bad debate? Or would you have a really bad economy and, and a good debate on that? And I also want to remind you that de debates do not determine who is going to win. In fact, statistically, if you examine that, you know, Hillary and Trump in 2016, I was actually in the audience for that first one, and she smoked him in all three debates, and of course we know how that went. Or Barack Obama, I know he lost in the debates, uh, and of course he had been an incredible second term. And even if you go back to Kerry as well, debates don't determine that. And if, the, if uh, debates were determinative, I wouldn't be standing here right now as the United States Senator because I had a really rough debate. And now, uh, and the polls said that I was going to lose, and people might would have thought that I've thrown it away. But like I said, I won by a historic margin of five points. And I am proud to stand with the president. <laughs>